This is Ben stuff. And we are on week five of our re-reviews of our robots. Yeah. If you guys haven't checked out our first four videos and don't know what's going on, we are just re reviewing all of our robots since we've had time to play with them. And we're going to tell you our likes, our dislikes, the things that we... We don't like? Don't, no, wish oh, they did no, have. things that they did and wish that they... Don't yeah. have. That's right. Yeah. And I in my last video, I said I'd write it down and I forgot. So we're going to have to try to wing it again. But anyways, mm -hmm. week five is the Wonder Workshop. Down here, guys, we have Dash, Q, and Dot. We think these are probably the best robots you can buy for out of coding. our whole collection. Yeah. yeah. For coding and for the price. The price. And just of, like how fun they are. Like and they're how, fun. Yeah, they are super fun. So... Can we maybe get the tablet off the, the table and let's turn these three guys on? Okay. Okay. Now, guys, this, this could could get messy because they yeah, do these, like... These two guys move. This guy is just like a standalone. Yeah. Guy. So we don't have to worry about Dot. But let's all turn them on and just so everybody can see what it's like. Okay. So first we'll turn this guy on. And once again, these... I'll put the links in the description so if you want to go check out Wonder Workshop. I don't think you can get Q anymore. I'm not too sure which ones you can and can't get anymore. I think you can only get Q on eBay or stuff now. Yeah, so most of them you can get on your, whatever, your local, I don't know. We have Kijiji, you guys probably have, what, Craigslist. I don't even know what's over there. eBay, just be safe and make sure you guys do your research before buying because a lot of people try to sell certain robots for a lot more. Yeah. And if you just do a little bit of shopping, you can find them for a lot less. Mm -hmm. So, let's turn them on so you can see what they look like. Okay. You can try to do them all at the same time. You need three arms. I, I, I think I could. Okay, ready? Yep. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. <laughs> but these are already hey, trying to drive off the know. table. <laughs> Okay, we got them all on. They're really bright. It's like flashlights in my uh, into the camera here. But we're going to let them do what they do. And we're going to tell you our things that we like and don't like. So we're going to start with things that we like. Mm -hmm. And you kind of like point at each one and tell us what you like. We'll go with Q, then Dash, then Dot, okay? Okay. okay so so, Q, so Q, what do you like about Q? Okay. I like about Q is that... Um, is that there's like multiple colors you can get. Oh. Um, <laughs> so you can get a white one. It also has like gold. Oh, yeah. And then you can get this guy. Yep. We're doing the lights, right? Yep, the lights, yeah. And then it has it for these guys. Or I think it's just this one. This one. I'm going to bring them over here just so I can see. Yep. So their eyes. This one, these ones' eyes are smaller. Yep. These ones are bigger. That's right. So oh yeah. These ones, I feel like you can see these more if it has a face. Hmm. Jeez, holy moly! <laughs> okay, hang a second, bud. Okay, buddy, let's keep <laughs> let's keep going. What um, do you What do you like about? Um, let's do dash. Dash, yeah. Um, I like. Well, first, that he's my favorite color. Oh yeah, blue. Yeah. Um. Um. Second, I like that he has like, he has a like, really cool voice. Yeah. Like, I really like his voice. Okay. Um, are we doing this guy now? Or sure, yeah. What do you like about that? Um, I like about this guy. Is that you can, do, you can do like, um, Magic 8 Ball. Magic 8 Ball, yeah. You can do lightsabers. And then a lot of other stuff. But I wish that they had like like these, and they have a thing where you can detach it. I like that too. Okay, so let's turn them off now. Yeah, they're because loud. they're loud, and I'm not sure if everybody at home can hear what you're saying. They are loud. They they do have their own personalities. Okay, so I'll tell you what I like. I like Q. I like the fact that you can code with that one. I like that you can get the JavaScript, and you can just go right into it and start coding. 
I think that's a huge feature for them. And I like the app about this guy. This guy has a really cool app. Yeah, he has an app. They all have different personalities. You can pick one that chooses, that you know, that fits you. Like, I think they have four different personalities you can pick. Yeah, so that's four, really cool. Four or five. Something like that. And Dash, I love the app for that one. I like that you get the customizable Blockly. So you, you can learn how to do Blockly easily with uh, Dash. Mm -hmm. And Dot... I think that's cool on its own, just for the fact that you can put it on a desk or anything like that, and it just draws people to you. I think people will be walking to a room and be like, wow, what is that thing? <laughs> and you don't have to worry about it driving away. Mm -hmm. So those are the things I like. What are the things that you don't like? And this could be hard because these robots are pretty cool. So what don't you like about Q? Okay. I, what I don't like. Okay. And if you don't have anything, it's okay. Um, I, wait one second, oh, really? I, I may go there. You're going for a deep dive here. What I don't Let me go with the things that I, I don't like, okay, and then wait, maybe wait. I'll give you an idea. Wait, okay. Oh, so hang on. Wait, isn't there a thing where what they have, but we wish like they don't have? We'll get to that. Okay, I, I was just making sure that we have that. Okay. Yeah, you do. Okay. I don't like that Q constantly talks out of like all over the place. It, like I don't mind That's a couple, for all of them for me. I don't mind you know, okay. I don't mind if they say it a couple of times, but like all the time nonstop, it just is like holy man, like go drink some water. Mm -hmm. Like <laughs> take a deep breath. It's almost like call a space robot. Like when you hit the button, yeah, it just, just keeps, keeps going. going. That's right, yeah. So the, the, the talking is, is too much. Um, about the little guy, I wish there was a little bit more functionality you can do with him. Uh, I don't even know what else they could do with it, but something. There's something that there's, they needed. There's something, yeah. There's something that you could do with that that would get people's attention more. Like, yeah, you can take the bottom piece off and you can attach it. And now he's just a... At least looks like an eyeball. Maybe, you know what? Maybe you can build like one of those uh, Five Nights at Freddy's guys and put those eyes inside of it. <laughs> oh, that would be freaky. Okay, so those are the things we like, the things we don't like, right? So what are the things you wish it did have? Oh my goodness, Dad. What, are you on the spot here? You don't know what to do? You know what to say? Um, I wish they had drop sensors. Because if you have... This guy, whatever, he, yeah, he, he doesn't move. He doesn't have to worry about drop sensors. This, these two guys, mm -hmm. like, they have nothing that, like, stops them from, like, going off the tables. Right. So robots like uh, Vector and Cosmo, they have that underneath sensor that if it gets near the edge, it'd be like, well, I'm not going any further. Mm -hmm. That's danger. I'm backing up. Yeah. So, yeah, if they had sensors underneath, I think that would be a really cool idea. Because I, I'm pretty sure some people use them on their desks while they're coding. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Yeah, that's right. And they don't want to drive it off on them falling on the floor, right? Yeah. What about Dot? What do you wish it had? What do you wish it had? Um, I don't know. I feel like it should have more stuff you can do on the app. On the app? Yeah. Like, I feel like... There's a lot, but I feel like there should be a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah, so there's not too much. It doesn't feel like there's enough to do. So if uh, Wonder Workshop can think of things to do with Dot to make it more bonding to the, to the user, I think that would be a good idea. And I agree with that. I really like the sensor idea. Yeah. Okay, so what I wish that they would have... And I don't know, it's, it's really tough because there's so many attachments. And if you guys, if you watch our videos, like Q has like the, the like the headpiece that shoots Nerf bullets. Oh, yeah. yeah. They have like a, a marker that can draw. Like they have tons of things that you can do. And it's just not what you see in front of me here. Like it's just not these guys. Oh, and yeah. I have another one that I what? want them. It's what you want them to have, right? Yeah. Um, I want them... I don't know if they already do, but I don't go on the apps much. Mm -hmm. But I want them to have almost like maybe weekly or monthly updates. Yeah, you want more updates? I want them to add like more stuff you can do with them. Holy maybe moly. like stuff like that. All right, they have to work overtime, guys, over there at the Wonder <laughs> Workshop. We want more updates. Yeah, so in the RC, they can drive around. That's really cool too, right? Yeah, it's cool. 
Okay, so things I wish they did have, like, I don't even know. I can't even think, to be honest with you. Maybe if, I, I don't know. I, I don't think they need anything else. But the sensors was a really good idea, and I, I wasn't even thinking about that. But I don't think they need anything else at all. I think they're perfect the way they are. Uh, even even Dot, he, he's cool too. But yeah, having more functionality would be cool. All right, so let's move on to the things that uh, you wish they didn't have. And that's the last one. Which one, what do you think? Okay, so I'm starting on Q again. Mm -hmm. Can I show? Because, like, I don't think they use these things. Like, what are these things for? I don't even know. The metal parts down there? Yeah, like, I keep thinking there's, like, a charging dock, there but I don't think station? they do. I don't know. I don't know what that's for. And then... Wonder Workshop, when I post this on LinkedIn, can you please tell us <laughs> what, what those steel things are in the bottom? <laughs> I don't know, Ben. I don't think, again, I don't think they need anything. And I'm going to say, I don't think they need to take anything away. I love it. There's nothing on there, these robots. Yeah, they, they, maybe like this, but maybe they're working on something. Maybe. But like, other than that, like, there's nothing. Yeah, I don't, I can't see anything. I, I tell everybody when online, when I talk about robots, and they're like, which ones should I get? Which one should I get? They're always asking that. Which one should I get? Which one cost a bit? Blah, blah, blah. I say, call the, go to the Wonder Workshop and get Dash or Q or Dot. I'm like, for the price, it's not expensive at all. And yeah. the stuff you can do with these robots is, it's crazy. My personal favorite is Q. Yeah. Yours is, you like Dash because it's blue. Uh, that, but I, I feel like I'm stealing from you, but I do like this guy. I like the black. Mm -hmm. And I love the white. Yeah, the white one's super cool. I wish we had that one too. You know what? If they came out with, the, they've had these things out for a long time. They've been like, out for a while. Yeah, for a really long time. This guy, I they know, need a new robot. They've been have this guy's been in like a bunch of schools, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think I think they should come out with some new robots. Like it doesn't even have to be anything like these guys. No, it doesn't like, have to. It doesn't to. have to be like the shape. No. Nope. It could just be like a completely new robot. Completely new robot. That's right. I think they should have like something like a little keychain or a necklace and you can put something like just like even something like a third the size of dot where you can have it around it like in like those little Tamagotchis where you can like feed it and stuff like that. I think that would be super cool. Yeah. Or just even having like little plushies or just anything. I think that'd be cool. There's a huge market for what they got going on here. I wish and they, they would make more. amazing on these things like. Hmm? Like I said, they did amazing on these things. They did, so, yeah. Guys, go they, check out. They shouldn't stop doing these things. No, they should. They, yeah, they should keep making stuff. I I think they've knocked it out of the park with these. I rave about these robots all the time. I love them. They're by by, by far my favorite. Because mm -hmm. I think it was like hundred or two hundred dollars, and you got yourself a robot that's like an RC car. You can code with it. You can play games with it as a personality. Like there's so many cool things you can do with it. Yeah. And I, I don't think you guys are going to be disappointed if you ever go out and buy one of these. Yeah, like, if I think they're still selling these two, mm -hmm. but this guy, no. Because I think it's either, I think it's this guy that's the oldest, so they wanted to stop. Is it, yeah? yeah? Well, maybe, I don't know. I don't know how it worked. But, yeah, I think you can get Dash online still on their website. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> with Q, I don't think so. And I'm not sure about that. But, like I said, guys, do your research. I'll post the links in the description again. <laughs> You can check out our older videos. And yeah. remember, there's attachments, right? Don't forget about the attachments, guys. It's not just these robots. They have, they have like, from like here to here and here, large like whiteboard mat. That's like a whiteboard, yeah. And you put markers on them and they draw shapes. So you can make your own shapes and you can tell to do whatever you want. It's really cool. And then this guy has a Nerf gun, so you can play, like, Nerf guns if you want. It's got a grabber. There's a grabber where you can pick stuff up. That's really cool. It's, like, it's almost, like, kind of like Lego. Yeah, they isn't there, like, a basketball thing, too, or something? Or I can't basketball. remember. There's Wait. I can't remember what attachments there were. But it's there's so many. There's, they have oh, a lot. There's a catapult. A catapult? Like a thing. Oh, that's right, yeah. That was cool. We got to bring those out again. <clears throat> okay, guys. Yeah, yeah. So... I don't think we need to get too much more into this week five video here because we're giving this Wonder Workshop thumbs up. This is like 
week five is probably like the best. Like if you're gonna if you're gonna watch our videos for the weeks and say, man, which one should we get? And they're it's not, week five. And they're not expensive. No. Like they're like they're like. Yeah, you guys have to get just do a little bit of searching online. You won't be disappointed. For all you robot searchers out there, for looking for your first robot for a collection, this is a must, yes. guaranteed. You won't be disappointed. And we're putting our robot. we're putting our stamp down. We're saying Ben Shop <laughs> says that this is this is the robot to start with, easily. Like this this could be your first robot. Like I don't see anything like that you wouldn't know what to do with. Yeah, and look at guys. Look at like we take care of our stuff, but they've take they've fallen down. They've been bumped into whatever, knocked over, and they look brand new still. Like. Maybe They're this beautiful. guy has a couple scratches like right here, but like still they, they work. You can't tell. Yeah, and they work perfectly. I love them. All right, guys. I don't know. We keep repeating ourselves over and over again. How much <laughs> we love these robots, but you guys got to check it out. If you don't have it, go get it. <laughs> right? Yeah. All right, guys. So I hope you like week five videos. This was, this was a re-review on the robots we already loved. Mm -hmm. And we still we love them. We already pretty much said all of these things on our other. Yeah. But we love these robots. We love Wonder Workshop. We just wish that you would make more robots. Yeah. Like, don't stop. You guys have awesome robots. Keep making more. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So that's our video. Look forward to week six. Week six is going to be which robot, Ben? What um, are we doing for week six? Any ideas? Are you want... we doing the ones that we can still buy? Or are we no, just it don't matter. Like... We can do uh, Robo, Robo Sapiens. That's what I was about to do. Yeah. Okay, so we have Robo Sapien V1, V2, and RS Media. We will bring that to you on week six. I'm That's excited for that one. Yeah, you're excited for that one? I know. You were pretty jacked when you saw those for the first time, right? They, they really need to continue these things. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Okay, but we'll talk about that in week six. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. We hope you like Wonder Workshop. Yeah. And hopefully Wonder Workshop gives us a thumbs up. Please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, take care. Bye.